Hey, it's me again, Dustin from Nerd Cheek. I'm going to take you through setting up a Fire TV stick. And so I'll show you how this thing works and how we set it up on this huge 40 inch um, scepter or um, monitor. So let me get started here. I'm going to first unbox this guy and get this thing out again. And then we're going to go through the setup process. Fun, fun, fun. Goodies. Get stuff out here. Cable. This stuff. And there's an adapter. So you've got your HDMI adapter in case you need to extend it. Boom. It's great. You've got power connection right here. Boom. And then, of course, the wire right here that plugs in. All right, let's see what we need to do here. It gives us our little setup thing that's in the box. So as it shows us all the stuff I just showed you in the box, get the most out of your TV stick. We're gonna connect it in just like I just did. Yep. It says it'll improve Wi-Fi performance if we put this connector in, so we'll do that. And then it says that we, need, we do need to plug it up. And then it says um, that we then power up our Alexa voice remote by opening up and putting in the included batteries, which I think I have already done here. There we go. Boom, oops, drop those. Got them in there, they're included. Look, Amazon batteries, perfect. All right, get that back in there. That's all together. So we'll power that up next. So I'm gonna take this round back, plug it in. Okay. Take the HDMI cable here. Boom, it's in there. I'm gonna pull this guy around. I've got a cord over on the other side that I can plug that into. Let's bring my cord over here and plug it in. So that's all plugged in now. And then we need to choose the right location. So I need to choose to put it on that HDMI input. So I'm going to choose my input, my source. Let's go down to see if it's this one. Let's see if it is. Yeah, look at that. We've got it. Fire TV stick starting up there. Wow. We're just moving right along, folks. So now we're going to let this thing boot up a little bit and let it do its thing. Woo, that's loud. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Turning down the sound. So I'm going to click, well, it says click home to pair. So I'll pair first. Might be loud. It says it's searching for the remote. Oh, it did it. Wait, I'm going to turn this down before it blows us away. So sound going down. <laughs> I didn't know how loud this thing is. Whoa, it's loud. There we go, down, 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 down. That's up. No, 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 down, down, down. That's too loud, you crazy loud monitor. Okay, now it says to press the, the play button. So that's this one right here, the bottom. So there it goes. It says to choose my language. So I'm gonna do that. I think I'm pressing the center. I am. Look at that. Now it's scanning for networks. I'm going to put the network in there. So I'm going to put it into the network here. All right, you guys don't tell my secret on what our password is. <laughs> I'm going to pause this and I'll bring it up once my password's in. <laughs> All right, my password is in there, so I'm going to go down and press connect. There it goes, connecting to my office here. Let's see how that does. This is coming around along, folks. So it's connecting the network. Let's see what happens next. It may take a few minutes to connect to a network, it seems. Checking for updates. So we should expect for the Fire Stick to do an update. It's successfully registered my account. Yes, that's me. Look at that. It even knows to check to see if it's my account. 
And that's really important, I believe, because I want to make sure that I'm in my Prime account and it makes me happy that other people can't get in and just, you know, take their stuff and do whatever. They have to, you know, officially change it on purpose. I'm going to say yes to this. You might choose no, but I want to say yes because I want my other devices to start connecting here. I have kids with Kindles and whatnot. When they walk in my office, I want them to connect. So I can enable parental controls. So that means that I can do everything, adding a pen before playing videos from Amazon or purchasing videos or apps. I'm going to do that only because I'm going to likely leave this in this office and I don't want folks even here doing that. So I'm going to enable parental controls and that saves us a lot of problems. I'm going to pause this because I don't want to show you what my parental control is. So I'll start back after I do that. So I clicked it in and I enabled my parental controls and it's running now. So now it's pen saved and folks won't be able to break in on that. Thank you, Jesus. I love it. All right. Now it's checking my network speed and it's... Look at that. Fire TV connects your HD TV to a world of online entertainment and lets you watch your favorites just by talking to your Alexa voice remote. That just came on Press about itself. Press the microphone button and ask for a title, an actor, or category like this. Find suspense thrillers. Launch right into a movie by saying, play X Machina. Wow, look at that, guys. Skip ahead two minutes. Or catch up on your favorite show, Play Bosch. It's easy to browse through episodes and recommendations. Just use the outer ring of the remote to navigate and press the center button to make your selection. Or use your smartphone as a remote. Oh my goodness. Download the free Fire TV remote app from the I'm going to use that. Oh, and speaking of apps, many of your favorites are available for Fire TV. Well, look at that. Netflix, HBO Now, Hulu, and a whole lot more. You can also play popular games like Pac-Man 256 and Crossy Road. Now with the power of Alexa, I need YouTube. Apps, we'll see if YouTube's an app. Even the weather. Remember. Wow. Alexa's built in, guys. What's the weather? Fire TV is even better with Amazon Prime. So if you think about it, Alexa's the cheapest way to go with a Fire TV. Access to tens of thousands of popular movies and TV shows. Plus all your photos and videos with Prime Photos. Look at that. Get more variety by adding monthly video subscriptions to your Prime membership. Explore dozens of channels, including wow. live and on-demand streaming from Showtime and Stars. Don't forget about music. Amazon Prime members can listen to over a million songs. Just ask for a specific artist, genre, or try a Prime playlist like this. Play Happy Modern Pop. Look at that, guys, and you can just tell it, it plays it right then. So there you go. Love it. This is so easy to use. It's amazing. So I'm letting this thing play through, and once it's played through, I'll do a couple tests, and we'll show that how the setup finally works. So we're almost there. Oh, look at this, and there's the beautiful entry screen. You can see it. You guys see the top there? Look at that. Isn't that great? I love this Fire TV. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna sit here and, and try something. I'm going to tell it something. So let's try clicking the, the listen button, which is right there, and asking it something. Let's see. Um, I'm going to say YouTube app. YouTube app. And there it is. There's a YouTube app plus a Silk browser. This looks like I can actually do the browse and play videos and it's a TV optimized website. So it, let's see if it's free. I'm going to see if it's free and see if I can get it now. But the Silk browser also would work. I could just bring it in and do it. Um, I own it so I can download it. That's great. Let's download it now. And here it comes. So it's queued to come in and it's downloading. And I got an app. Got it. That's it. So now I have this app in here. I can use it immediately. I can press open and open the app. Here it comes, look in the corner, it says ready to launch. I'm going to put in my little code. And once it comes through with my code and my pen, I'm loading into YouTube. So I want to use YouTube. You may want to use another app. Um, you can download, like I said, Netflix, Amazon Prime is already available in there, and so much more. So here we are, and I'm now able to stream in what I want to stream in into the room. 
So, oh goodness, it says it won't be in here on 1.1, one, one, so that one doesn't work. But let's get out of here then, and let's go into, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna go all the way out, back to the home. Yes, I'm gonna exit. It's so easy, I'm using this remote. Well, let's find another way. Um, let's do Silk Browser. So I'm, again, I'm gonna press this button and just say Silk Browser. Silk Browser. There it is. Silk Browser, I'm gonna download it if I need to. It may already be installed. It's not, I'm gonna download it. Here it comes. Put in my code. And here it comes down. It's in there, and then of course I can use YouTube this way. Let's try something else. I'm gonna try. Um, I'm gonna try just calling up uh, Doctor Who on here and see if Doctor Who will play next. And then we can, you know, you get you get to fill out how this thing works. So I just want you to see how this thing kind of functions. All right there it is. Silk Browser, of course, is um, their version of um, their internet browser, and I like it pretty good. It's installing. <clears throat> Once it's installed, I'm not even going to really test it. I'm going to go back and, and do one more thing. And that's the, um, the other browser that, or the other um, function I was talking about. So once it's installed, is it going to install? Slowly installing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Let it finish. Must be quite a big, uh, big one. While it's doing that, let's see if we can do something else. All right, looks like you can do all kinds of stuff with it. Plex is a great viewer for you guys to use it. Okay, Silk so Browser install. I'm going to do the speak button again. I'm going to say watch Doctor Who. Play Doctor Who. Here's what I found. There it is, baby. So let's just go to Doctor Who. Here we go. Oh, look at this. This is great. Here comes Doctor Who. And let's see how we're doing here. I can't show you an episode of Doctor Who, but... Oh, look at this. I'm going to skip preview. All right, here goes. Oh, my goodness. Folks, I'm in a happy place. I have Doctor Who. So with that said, I just want to say, guys, that this is absolutely one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things. I can't wait to play with this more. Amazon Fire TV Stick is amazing. It's very inexpensive. Order it on Amazon. It's already connected to your account. And then you can do what I just did and more. I can't wait for you to try this out. And again, this looks like the easiest way to really get Alexa and cheap. So go get your Amazon Fire Stick. It's awesome.